About a week ago I took a look at Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered on the base PS5. Today I'm going to take a look at it on the PS5 Pro. Right, so I'm going to do a very similar thing to what I did before, look at the same, more similar parts of the game. Uh, I'm going to start off with Favour Performance Pro. Now this was one thing I wasn't really expecting to see in these visual graphics options because um, the whole point to me of the Pro was basically taking away that choice like um some people prefer the performance where you get the smoother frame rate other people prefer the higher fidelity graphics we get higher fidelity graphics more resolution at the cost of frame rate um to me one of the points of the pro was taking those options away because it can do both at the same time you get the performance and the fidelity all at once no need to choose but hey we still got three options a favor performance pro which favors a higher frame rate at a lower fidelity favorite resolution favors a higher fidelity at a lower frame rate and a, a balance a literally a balance between the two all right so i'm going to look at very similar parts like i did before i'm going to move to the top of the hill here and take a look at the sunset move around a bit sunrise even We do like the smoothness in this mode. Yeah, let's just come over here and wait for that rather glorious sunrise. It does look very, very nice in this game. Considering this is a, a remaster, this is the way remasters for me are supposed to be done. It's definitely got an improved level of sharpness over the PS5 version in performance mode. It's like you're getting a good bump up in graphics quality at the same time to me. Yeah, those rocks are a lot, lot sharper than what they were on the PS5 in performance mode. Some really nice effects going on as well. Love the way the leaves and the water glistens in the fresh morning sunshine. It's right around. I love these looks. This... Look on the floor as well, the way that um, the texture of the sand, whatever it is, looks good as well. And the shadow and the redness on the rocks. Really nice and smooth. Performance mode keeps things locked at 60 frames a second. So you 60 frames a second no matter what. And it stays locked as well at 60 frames, even in busy action scenes. Right, so let's switch over now to resolution mode. Right, so exactly the same scene, but this is now in fidelity mode, favouring performance of graphics or better fidelity of graphics over frame rate got to admit i do think the performance mode is the way to play this game uh, the jump up in graphics is so tiny i'm not sure it's worth the trade-off for that extra smoothness I and mean, when we look around it you can see it's just nowhere near as smooth as it was before even on the pro because it's no matter what the power of the pro it's still trying to bump up the graphics enough uh, to push it so basically you're still getting that well, it looks like 30 frames a second, which for me, for that slight bump up in graphics, not really worth it. Here comes the sun. Let's take a look. I mean, this is in 4K, but even 4K YouTube video still does actually crush the image quality quite a lot. You're not seeing the actual detail that I see in real life. So you've got to take this as a guide, really, not actually a be all and end all. It does look nice, but is it is it better? I think if you've done side by sides, you'd still have to look, look a bit to actually see the difference between fidelity mode and performance mode. It's the cool thing about this game. Look, the, game, the, the sun is doing a different thing to what it done on the last load. It's actually behind some different clouds now. So you actually get a, a different feel to what's going on with the game, depending upon the time of day and what the clouds are doing and things like that, which is really cool. I mean, it still looks crisp and clear. But I'm not seeing any noticeable jump, I've got to be honest, between this mode and performance mode regarding the graphics. So to lose that smoothness, a tiny bump up in graphics, for me, is just simply not worth it. Right, so now we'll take a look at Balanced Pro. Balanced between performance and fidelity, available if supported by the display's refresh rate. This TV does do VRR, so we can take a look at that. This is a little bit smoother than the fidelity mode. I mean, if you move around slowly, it's pretty good. But as soon as you move quite quick, you can see that it's not as smooth as the performance mode. But a slight bump up in graphics, which, to be honest, you're really going to have to peek for and 
pixel peep to, to to notice and it's like i'm not seeing any real difference in the graphics compared to the performance mode i've got to be honest shoot right let's wait for that sun to come up a little look around but you can see the the movement as you move around is not as smooth as performance mode and even looking at this directly not through obviously youtube where the image quality is destroyed a certain amount i'm failing to see any real jump up in the graphics I really am so here comes the sun nice glistening effects i mean if you put them side by side you may be able to see one is maybe slightly sharper than the other but if you have to put them side by side to tell then for me there's no point I may as well stick to the performance mode because if it's that negligible then if you have to peek to see the difference then for me that is not a big enough jump uh, to justify losing all that smoothness of performance mode this is definitely a lot better though than um, fidelity mode for me it's a lot lot smoother uh, some people may prefer this i mean you know if you have a go with this and you may be noticing things that i'm, I'm not which is very possible i may be looking at the wrong things this is a pretty cool way to play it so for me it would still be performance mode first, then balance mode second, if your TV can handle it, and then fidelity mode last. But I don't see any reason, if you've got a pro, why you wouldn't be enjoying the performance mode. Get all that smoothness with some really nice graphics at the same time. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Right, so this is a very early part of the game. We're still in balanced mode at the moment. Just take a look at the sharpness of stuff. Follow Eloy, quick. How clear our faces. The details on the rocks and the trees and have a little wander have a little splash in the water see if there's any substantial differences how sharp the rocks look things like that and follow matey boy and then we'll switch over to performance mode and, and take a look at that Yeah, man. I mean, this balance mode is actually not bad, to be fair. It does a pretty good job of getting a balance between those extra graphics and smoothness. But, like I already said, if you have to look and really search for those graphical improvements, then I'd rather stick to performance mode myself. Showed very similar scenes on the base PS5 in a video about a week ago, so you can compare to that if you like. I can do nothing. I'm not sure that video was in 4K though, to be honest. Find that boy and kick him to death. But if I shoot, it'll cause a stampede and it will trample him. But um, this is Stop visually quite a lot sharper and cleaner looking than the base PS5 version. I'm not. I can sneak through. Right, so we're now in favour resolution, so let's take a look at that same scene again. Well Favouring resolution. To learn. Tomorrow, let's take a look at our again. face again now. So I think you can see the difference in this when you're looking around like this. You can see that resolution oh, jump up, particularly like. in this scene. Definitely looks that little bit sharper. Let's just jump into the water like we did before. Quick look at that. And the rocks again. Yeah, so it may not be completely evident on a YouTube video, but I, I do think the resolution mode, now I've looked at this scene, definitely looks a, a little bit sharper. But it's the cost of that silky smooth movement of performance mode. It's definitely in each their own thing. Some people aren't that um, critical of the smoothness of things like this. I don't mind it. I'm really, really intolerant of it. I just don't like it at all. I much prefer that extra smoothness. And, and the way I see it is that smoothness, the perform performance mode, you're getting 100% of the time. Every single second you play the game, you benefit from that. 
like some people may say yeah but you're benefiting from the better graphics 100 percent of the time as well but in some scenes i just don't think you're going to notice it but it is an each their own thing so that's why these choices are here oops it's gone again It's a really good story in this game. If you've not played it yet, then you're in for a treat when you do. That I can see the past they take. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. Right, so let's switch back to performance mode now and take a look at that same scene again. You have much to learn. All right, let's do what we've done before. I have a little look at uh, face that? and head, the hey details on the rocks the and stuff. The brave trails. Follow Eli. And it still looks really, really sweet to me. Like, really good. Take a look at those rocks. I mean, maybe the rock, rocks were maybe a tad. Sharper, I guess. But sometimes I think things can look overly sharp to the point where it looks unrealistic. I think this looks absolutely spot on, to be honest. All right, let's follow matey boy. But we get that lovely smoothness all the time. See, I don't think you can you can beat this. I think performance mode is absolutely the way to go with this. Still looks really, really nice. There's definitely a jump above the base PS5 edition looks really really good considering this is a PS4 game you've got to remember that it's like this is a PS4 game basically it's been remastered really really good wait for my pro to arrive before starting playing this game properly so I can enjoy it fully Let's watch poor matey boy fall off again it's not his day. But hey, at least he's not been trampled or nothing yet. <laughs> I can do nothing. It's only a matter of time before the machines find that boy and kick him to death. I love the expressions in this game, they're really really good. What's going to happen to him? Well, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. I'm going to pause it right there and uh, end the video. So yeah, first look at Horizon Zero Dawn remastered on the PS5 Pro. And it's a thing of beauty. It's definitely a cut above the base PS5 version. Um, the performance mode looks absolutely sweet with those 60 frames a second graphics making the whole experience just that much more enjoyable for me. But there it is, there's the video. If you enjoyed it, it'd be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.